Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming back and spending some time with me. So hey, I'm going to talk to you today about my salvation story. So get a cup of coffee, kick back. It's probably going to be like a three-part series because I found out I can only do 15 minutes of upload time. So I have an alarm set on my phone so that I know when to stop recording so that I can post it. And then I'll do another one and probably I have alarm go off again. Okay, so let's get started. Um, let me go back to when I was growing up. So as I was growing up, I had my uh, communion and my confirmation and I knew of God, but I didn't have a personal relationship with God. I went to catechism classes and you know, my parents sent me to, you know, all those things. We went to church, but I really didn't feel like I knew who God was. So I would, as I would, like I said, as I was growing up, um, really didn't have that personal relationship. So I got married when I was 19 uh, to a wonderful guy. We had a beautiful daughter. And I would make sure that I took her to church every Sunday. I would drop her off and I would go back home again. And I would think in my mind, I don't want to go and get all dressed up, have to do my hair. No, I'm not going. I'll just drop her off, make sure that she's getting what she needs, and then I'll go and pick her up. So first marriage, as I said, wonderful guy. I screwed it up. We got divorced. We got remarried in the same year. I screwed it up again. We got divorced. So that's one guy, two marriages, two divorces. Got my beautiful daughter out of that marriage. Got married a third time. Great guy. He had issues. I had issues. Ended up getting in a divorce. During that time, some huge things happened. First of all, I went outside my marriage and found myself a little boy toy who was 12 years younger than me and I was dating him while I was still married to this guy. Although we had already decided we were getting divorced, we were living separate lives, but that still doesn't make it right. Just justification. Um, but I was laying in bed one night in a separate bedroom we were sleeping in separate rooms and i remember one night i saw this bright light and it's pitch dark outside and so i open my eyes and pitch dark i close my eyes bright light open my eyes dark close my eyes bright light i do this several times and this light is beautiful and i'm like what the heck is this light the only thing I could think of is it was God's light, just God showing himself to me. That's, that's all I can figure. Okay, so get divorced. This is my now third marriage, third divorce, and I got this younger guy that I'm dating. So in this whole mix, I end up taking my daughter to college, drop her off, I'm bawling all the way home. I sobbed for two straight weeks. I had revolved my whole life around this girl, which was so unfair to her and so unfair to the relationships that I had in my life. So I'm now living with this younger man, as I said, 12 years younger than me. I'm having huge insecurity issues for obvious reasons. This whole time, I have learned as I matured as an adult to use sex to manipulate men. And oh, I was good at it. I was good at getting whatever I wanted. All I had to do was use my body. And that didn't even... That, I mean, not even in just relationships, in any facet of my life. I just learned that I could use my body for that. Get out of a ticket, get whatever I wanted. I could just, 
I could just do that. So this whole time, I'm trying to fill this void that I didn't realize was a void at the time, but obviously it is because I'm just, you know, trying everything to try to find this love. This I'm seeking this love and I just cannot seem to find it anywhere. So during the time when I'm living with um, the younger man, I have two businesses. I have one called Smiley Care, which is a cleaning company, and another one called Mystery Eyes, which is a mystery shopping company. So to promote these um, companies that I had, I went ahead and I joined two Chamber of Commerces. One was a smaller one and one was a larger one. So for the smaller one, we would get together, um, forget if it was once a week or once a month, and we would network our businesses. You know, we would say a little blurb about them, pass out business cards, and um, you know, try to try to generate business. So there was this guy there, and I don't know for some reason, like he caught my attention. Well, the first reason he caught my attention was I thought, oh my gosh, this guy is so stinking arrogant. What is his deal? And then the more that I saw him at these. Um, meetings, I thought, well, you know, he's kind of cute, but still this arrogance thing, I just, uh, I just can't handle it. So we'll come back to that. So I'm still living with the younger guy. So my second God experience was um, he and I used to travel a lot. And we were in one of those states, uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, and there was a snowstorm. And you know, they don't, they're not like equipped for that at all. So the roads just turned awful. There were accidents everywhere. And the next thing I know, our car is spinning out of control. And all I can say is, God, please help us. I don't know how it happened, but the next thing I know, we are over on the shoulder of the, of the road. Our car did not get hit. We were not injured. There was accidents all around us. I believe that was the hand of God that took our car and put it over on the shoulder. That is my only explanation for that. Let me, let me check the time real quick here. Okay, I have a few more minutes. Okay, so while I had the cleaning business, I cleaned for this um, one couple and they would always ask me to go to church. And so I felt obligated to go. So I went a couple times and you know, I really just was not feeling it. So I didn't go anymore. Then I ended up going to the church uh, that I would take my daughter to for her Bible studies. And you know, I would go on like all the big holidays, you know, like, you know, those ones that Christians go to, you know, Easter, Christmas, you know, the big ones. And I'd go, like, occasionally, I'd, like, tip my toe in, you know, but I just wasn't feeling that either. I mean, again, who wants to get up, put on makeup, do their hair, get dressed, and go to church? I didn't know what to wear. I, you know, whatever. So I think I'm going to end this one right now because I'm coming into um, a different part of the story. So this is part one of my salvation story. And very quickly, I'm going to record and then upload part two. So I'll see you back here real soon. Go get a warm up on that coffee.